Hey guys, congratulations on your purchase of the Cavity Sliders Soft Stop. This product allows the door to soft close, soft open, or both. Today we're gonna to show you how to install one. There are three versions of the CS Soft Stop. The first is for soft close only, one direction. This is rated for 176 pounds. The second is also one direction, soft close only, although rated from 176 to 264 pounds. And finally, we have the twin or dual action mechanism. This is rated to 176 pounds and can soft close as well as soft open. There are some minimum door width implications for the use of these mechanisms. That info is on the screen now. A very important component of this system is the activator. The activator is what engages the mechanism inside the track to take the door home to a soft close. Today we will be installing the twin or double action mechanism. If you are installing solely the single, you do not need to install the activator in the back of the pocket. Here is how you will receive the soft stop carriage pad. Your soft close sits under this tab. Each CS track and frame system comes with a slot that the activator slides into. Before sliding the activator inside, make sure that you unscrew the set screws. The first thing that we install is the activator that goes into the back of the pocket. We insert that through the notch in the slot. You can now slide your activator through to the back of the pocket. If you have fixed through the track, you will need to remove those screws to allow the activator to go past. And for future reference, you do not need to fix through the track. Now you will insert the rear carriage through the notch in the track and send it into the back. The twin mechanism has two hooks. You will ensure that they are both loaded. They are both loaded when the hook is at the extremities of the mechanism. You will now insert the mechanism through the notch into the track and you can let it dangle. You will now install the carriage for the front of the door. It's important that the hole in the carriage is facing the slot in the mechanism. You can now remove the screw in the mechanism. Next step is to connect the mechanism to the carriage and reinsert the screw through the hole in the carriage. It's important to tighten gently so that you don't push the nut up into the track. We are now going to put our door in. If you don't have your doors yet, we suggest using a dummy door. If you don't have a dummy door, many people will cut a piece of 2x4 to the same width that their finished door will be so that they can set the back activator position correctly. This is quite important. You can now move the activator back towards the middle of the opening. To set your activator positions, you'll be using the jam spreader or the activator setting block. The activator setting block determines the position of the activator with respect to the back stud. We now install our front activator. and we push it towards 
the middle of the opening. And we use our activator setting block or our jam spreader. And we bring the door slowly towards the closing jam. You will hear the mechanism pick up the activator and we use our activator setting block to determine the position of the activator with respect to the closing jam. We then move the door open again and that activator is gonna be exactly where we need it so that we can tighten it in position just tighten one set screw to start and test the unit. And that is in the correct position and then you can tighten the rest of the set screws in place. We slowly move our door towards the back stud. The hook on the mechanism will pick up the activator, you'll hear it. And then as we approach the back stud, we use our setting block. So when the block touches the back stud, the activator's in the correct position. We then open the door again, and we can Tighten our activator into position. Start by just tightening one set screw. Then you can open the door. Check that position is good. And then tighten the remaining three screws into place. It's super important to install your back activator in the correct position before drywall goes on. That's why we say, if you don't have your door or a dummy door, cut a piece of two by four to the correct length so that you can set, the, set those activator positions correctly. You wanna make sure that when you close the door, it soft closes and comes to rest against the closing jam. There should be no air gap. If your door does not come to rest against a back stud or a closing jam, for example, a biparting pair application, you'll need to use a track stop. The track stop is positioned into the track profile and the mount plate with a black plastic bumper is used. That black plastic bumper marries up with the track stop so that the carriage body doesn't wear the stress of the closing force. Install your activators and send them to the back of the track. Then install your track stops and tighten them down where the doors meet. To set your soft stop activator, make sure one door is in the closed position to act as a closing jam. Make sure your activator is sent to the rear of the track. Pull the open door against the activator setting block. You should hear the carriage catch as the activator slides along the track. Your activator should now be in the correct position. Tighten one screw on the activator to test if the soft stop works correctly. Tighten the remaining screws. Repeat for the other side. If your activator is set too far back from the closing jam, and the door doesn't come to rest against a structural member, you risk breaking the hook on the mechanism. If the activator is set too close to the closing jam, the mechanism will not travel as far as intended. 
and it may slam. This is why it's so important to use your activator setting block. Don't break the mechanism. The carriage has some height adjustment capability. That's adjusted with the wrench. If the hanger bolt is wound up too tight, it will come through the carriage and has risk of hitting the activator within the track. If it's wound up too tight, the carriage won't go past the activator. Congratulations on your successful CS soft stop installation. Don't hesitate to reach out to customer service if you have any other questions. Ciao for now.